Hey guys, uh, this is Javano again, and welcome to my third installment on my Redstone for Dummies series. In this video, I'll be showing you all about knot gates and their cousin, the repeater. And they may sound completely different, but I'll show you why they're very similar uh, afterwards. So, um, if you didn't watch my other video, a knot gate. Well, if you don't know what a logical ga logic gate is, period, I would really recommend you go watch my last video. I explained that for you. But um, if you don't feel like it, whatever, I guess you can probably figure out what I'm trying to say. Um, a knot gate is basically... It um, inverts the signal. Like, it inverts the input. So... Yeah, there's two varieties, two main varieties of knot gates. And so I'll just shorten this one actually. So, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, the input here, I'm just going to lay down some uh, terminology for you. Input is the signal of the redstone going in to the component. The output is what's coming out. So these are the outputs of them. And these are the inputs. So, yeah. The inputs of them are off. And a not gate checks for that. Like a not gate, get the hell out of here. Um, a not gate <laughs> basically means this torch will be on when this is not on. That's why it's called a not gate. So if the input's not on, the torch will be on. If the input is on, the torch won't be. See? Poof. They're off. So if the torch isn't on, the output isn't on either. So it basically just inverts... Inver yes, inverts. It inverts the, the input and puts that as the output. I say those words a lot, by the way. <laughs> I like proper terminology. But uh, there are two main varieties of knot gates. The first one is you have the input trail here, and then you put a torch that's one block higher, and then the input after that. The only thing is the reason I have this first redstone trail on a block is because if you do this, it just won't work. You can't just have a torch leading down to it, or else this is just going to become another input to it. If you want it to be an output, it has to be on the same level as the torch. The second variety is you have the input trail again, only it leads to the back of a block, and hanging off that block on the same level as the redstone is a torch, and then you have your output. So those are the two main varieties. And um, knot gates are probably the most important component of redstone circuitry, mainly because the bigger components are composed of a whole bunch of these for the most part. Just really compacted together. Now for the repeater. Here, in case you didn't watch my last video, I will show you why repeaters are needed. The reason repeaters are needed is because after you go a certain distance with redstone, I believe it's 15 blocks, the signal just dies out like that. So if you want to go a really long distance with a trail, you need to have a repeater somewhere around this area so it doesn't die out. Here, I'll just show you that. And um, a repeater is two of these in a row, if you haven't already figured that out. And uh, I'll just use this variety. I, I like this variety better. It's just simpler. So that's even a word. <laughs> so uh, you got the first one. And... Get the second one. So um, since the input's off, it reverses that, outputs it, outputs it into this block, that block reverses it again, and it's out again. Which is kind of useless. The whole point of it is that it repeats the signal. So there, it's on, switches it to off, switches it again back to on. And there you go. And this will go a few blocks further than this signal because I started it the uh, repeater a few blocks further. See? 
Now if you want to throw another one in here, see it's dying over here, throw another one. Clear out some area here. Bam, more signal. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. See? And in case you want to know why, it if you put two knots in a row, it makes a repeater. The reason is because since like um, a knot basically just inverts the signal, it takes the signal, inverts it to the other, and then this one inverts it back again. So it's basically just multiplying a negative by a negative if you're talking about math. Same idea. But uh, that's about it for these guys. Uh, for my next video, I'm probably going to do either AND gates or gates or possibly both. But uh have to decide on that. So for now, guys, see ya.